Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now in sports, when you get caught cheating, or breaking the rules anyway, steps are taken to correct the advantage you might have gotten from that infraction. In basketball, you might lose possession of the ball, or, uh, or the other team might, might shoot free throws. In hockey or soccer, you might have to play with uh, a man down. Affirmative action is the same thing. Essentially, since the founding of this country, minorities were placed at a disadvantage. Not only were there deliberate infractions of the rules, or breaking of the laws, which were gotten away with, but the laws themselves were created to place blacks, Latinos, Asians, women, and others at a disadvantage. So during the civil rights struggle, a lot of those laws were changed. And measures were taken to correct the disadvantages which flowed from them. Unlike in sports, there was no punishment for uh, the white race or the white males, merely an effort to level the playing field for those who had been placed at a disadvantage. But now some white people are interpreting affirmative action as a punishment for them. Or they say that racism no longer exists and we don't need it anymore. But all over this country, and particularly in the red states, we see ample evidence that racism still flourishes. Our courts assign harsher punishments to minorities. Police treat blacks and Latinos very differently than they do whites. Schools in minor minority neighborhoods are underfunded and have a lot of difficulties, a lot of challenges, where schools in predominantly white neighborhoods get all the funding they need and uh, uh, have a lot of assets. So even if there were no active racism, a lot of people are still living with the effects of all the stuff that has gone before. The playing field still is not level. The advantage still exists. If, if history were a hockey game, we would say that the power play should not be over yet. But there is active racism. I mean, we've seen it. The Supreme Court's decision against the Civil Rights Act has resulted in the passage of laws in the red states discriminating against minorities by Republicans, which can now officially be called the party of racism. Affir eliminating affirmative action would also enable racist discrimin discrimination to make a comeback. It also would be a denial of reality that still exists. Let's face it, if a kid grows up in a bad neighborhood, goes to a bad school, and has less resources than a kid who grows up in a great neighborhood with great schools, and that kid still manages to be competitive with the kid with all the advantages, then didn't he actually do better? Didn't he actually win the race? If they'd started at the same place, he would. Affirmative action is not a punishment for whites. It is simply an acknowledgement that some people in this country still start from the back of the pack, while others have a real nice place up front reserved for them. 
Maybe someday there will be no need for affirmative action. But that day sure isn't here yet. Thanks for listening.